In this chapter, we are going to talk about common distribution channels and divisions. Before we talk about the details, let me do a quick experiment. Can you create a customer master with a blank or a wildcard distribution channel or division? Meaning, when you create the customer master sales view, you enter the details of sales org, say 1000, distribution channel, you know, 10 or 20 or 30, and division is 00. zero. Can you wildcard this? meaning put a star or a blank. Let's try it. So go to logistics uh, sales and distribution master data business partners customer create VD01 enter the customer of 1000 sales org of 1000 and typically would put a 10 here or a 20 or whatever distribution channel division of 0 0 now the experiment that we are making here is what if you just put a blank or just put a star does it work let's see whoops it says that the sales area 1010 is not defined for customers so what does it tell you it tells you that you cannot create a customer with a blanket or a wild card distribution channel or division. So before I explain why I'm doing this, let me give you a business scenario. Say there's Dell Computers and it's trying to sell to a customer, say ABC Electronics. And the sales org that it's trying to sell is in 1000. Now, Dell could be selling to ABC Electronics in different formats. ABC could be buying from Dell as a retail customer for their own internal consumption, or it could be buying from Dell as a reseller intending to sell it to other customers maybe after value adding some components or it could be buying just as a distributor to distribute goods to other customers down the line. Now when you want to create ABC electronics across all these channels you would be forced to create this customer three times say retail is distribution channel 10 and reseller is distribution channel 12 and distributor is distribution channel 13 you'll have to create this customer three times so one is for sales org 1000 distribution channel 10 which is retail and division let's say zero zero let's make it less complicated and another record for a reseller and another record for distributor why because a customer always has to be created for a combination of sales org distribution channel and division even if the data is same across all the distribution channels or all divisions. In this case, it's the same customer. The data across the retail channel or the reseller channel or the distribution channel is not really changing. So why are we forced to create this customer three times? Do we have to do this? Do we have another option? Can't we just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to create this customer 
for this combination 1010 just refer to the same data for all other distribution channels or divisions because the data remains the same. All we are trying to say is instead of wild carding this and saying you know this is the data for all distribution channels can we pinpoint can we just select a certain set of distribution channels say 12 and 13 in this case and say that this data always refers to 10 yes you can the way to do it is with common distribution channel or common divisions sometimes it's also called reference distribution channels or reference divisions so I'm saying that if you maintain data for this combination you don't need to maintain it for this combination because it's already exists why does it exist because 12 refers to 10 and 13 refers to 10 and there's no need to create data again for 12 and 13 now let's do another experiment. Let's try to create a customer for the combination 1000 1200. Very easy. Just put 12 here. Whoops. It says that the sales area 1000 1200 does not exist. So what does this tell you? tells you that when you create 10 as a reference distribution channel for 12 and 13 you can't really create data again for 12 and 13 now you might have a question here based on this error message sales area 1000 1200 is not defined for customers is it really true that 1000 12 and 0, 0 are not defined for or are not defined as a sales area well let's find out go to SPRO IMG enterprise structure assignment sales and distribution you can set up sales areas and go to selection by contents and I'm going to select sales org and uh, say division because we want to search by division 00, zero and sales org 1000 choose you have 1000 10 0 0 1000 12 0 0 and 1000 13 0 0 created as sales areas that means that even though the sales area 1000 1200 exists in the enterprise structure still SAP does not allow you to create a customer for this combination it only allows you to create it for this combination where is this configuration that allows you to reference one distribution channel to another and go to SPRO and instead of going to enterprise structure you might be tempted to go there but it's not there go to sales and distribution and then go to master data and this is where the configuration for common distribution channels and divisions is so let's go inside the common distribution channel configuration go to position select 1000 and you'll see 10, 12, and 13. But the first column represents the sales org, the second column represents the distribution channel. And for 10, the reference distribution is channel is 10. And for 12, the reference distribution channel is 10. And for 13, the reference distribution channel is 10. So 10 is really referring to 10 meaning 10 is the reference distribution channel which is good and 12 is also referring to 10 and 
13 is also referring to 10. So this is the configuration that says that 10 in this case is the common distribution channel for 12 and 13. Now you see two columns here that references 10. For example, distribution channel 12 references 10 here and here. The one that we are interested in is this column because that is the reference distribution channel for customers and materials. For now, just understand that reference distribution channels or common distribution channels are not just for customers or materials, they are also for condition records. So they refer to pricing condition records or other kind of condition records. And this column refers to master data like customer or material. You could have a different combination for each of them, but it's very rare. You always go with the same combination. Now we know the configuration and we know the result of the configuration when we create the record. Again, let's do another experiment. Let's change this something else. Let's say 13 and 13. What should happen now? When you try to create a customer master for 1000 1200 combination, the system should say no because it really refers to 10. But when you try to create it for 13, 1000 sales org, 13 distribution channel, 00 division, it should say okay. Right? Let's try that. So let's change this to 13 and this to 13 and save it and try to create a customer which is VD01 and it's going to be 1000 and instead of 12 we are going to put 13 because we just dereferenced 13 to refer to itself instead of the common distribution channel 10. This works fine. So what does this tell you? As long as you reference another distribution channel, you can't really create master data for the referenced distribution channel or the referenced division. Couple more learnings here. Now all along we have been talking about distribution channels the same logic, the same logic as in common distribution channel or reference distribution channel applies to common divisions as well. You could see that in the example here. So there's configuration for common distribution channel and there's configuration for common divisions. And the second point is the same logic applies to not just customer master but material master and condition records. Okay, so what does it mean? This means that when you create a customer, you only need to create one record because 12 and 13 already reference 10. What if there are more divisions? Say there are 0, 0, 10 and say 20. Ideally, if you don't reference another division, you would still have to have the same problem that you started with. You would have as many records as there are possible sales areas. So which means you will have to do this one record plus you will have to do 1000 plus 10 plus 20 that will be another record and 1000 plus 10 plus 30 that will be another record. So if you have three distribution channels, 10, 12, 13, and three divisions, 0, 10, 20, you'd have to create three records. Can we minimize that? Yes. You could have 10 reference 0, 0, 20 reference 0, 0, in which case there's no need to maintain these two records as well as these two. You could just have 1000, 10, 0, 0, one record and all the other sales areas 
really reference the 101000 record right so what are we doing here we are reducing the data maintenance so instead of nine records that you would probably have to maintain if you did not have common distribution channels and divisions you are just maintaining one record what about the material master same thing if you go to a material master say mm01 and select the material say m01 hit enter and then we are only interested in these details right so click OK and you'll see that you'll have to enter a sales org and distribution channel to maintain sales data for that material now granted you don't see a division here in the material master case because divisions are really part of the material master maintenance you still have distribution channel so in this case when you reference 12 13 14 to 10 you don't need to maintain data for 12 13 14 sales org distribution channel combinations you can just maintain for 10 and the rest of the data really references 10 and same is the case with condition records let's try and maintain a condition record go to VK11 and enter PR00 select the combination material click OK and you'll see that sales org distribution channel is typically a possible combination in most of the pricing condition records so if you maintain for 10 you don't really main, need to maintain for 12 or 13. If you try and maintain for say 12 which really references 10 hit OK you'll have a message here saying that condition records cannot be created for distribution channel 12. So if you try to create condition data for a distribution channel that really references a common distribution channel you get an error message saying that you cannot maintain conditions for that possible combination. So that's about condition records. So let me summarize what we have discussed here. Okay, Creating master data for all possible sales areas is not necessary. So this is master data proliferation. You don't really need to do it and the way to avoid this master data proliferation is common distribution channels and divisions and another point is when you create a reference distribution channel division model data only needs to be created for the common distribution channel division combination the rest of the distribution channel division sales area combinations need not be maintained and cannot be maintained